Hello, my name is Louisa Ward and I'm a beauty therapist. I run my own private practice and teach here at the Beauty Academy. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you a manicure using a French polish. As always, refer to your course notes when watching this DVD. So we'll begin with one hand, use a cotton pad to apply your nail polish remover. Place on top of the nail, let the nail polish remover soak into the polish and briskly remove. Work over your next nail and remove with a firm, a firm motion across the nail plate ensuring you always work to the tip of the nail rather down towards the cuticle. And repeat. And then to your other finger. Don't worry too much if you don't remove all the polish in one sweep. We can always go back with a clean pad and onto the thumb. Ensure that you've always got good support of your client's fingers so they feel well supported and comfortable. Then with a clean pad. some more nail polish remover, preferably non-acetone, and work back over your first nail. Same procedure, pressure down and wipe away. And again, taking off any last traces of polish. Finally, onto the thumb. Place the hand back down. Pick up a file. Start with the small finger. And with the lighter or finer grain side of your file, hold it gently between your thumb and your forefinger. Support your client's finger and sweep across. Working in one direction at all times, ensuring we don't do a soaring motion that will cause trauma to the nail. So sweep across. Come back in a nice even shape. To finish off our shaping we want to do some beveling, place the file upright and work down the tip of the nail all the way across and then up again. As our final movement, a sweep across to seal. Move on to our next finger. So again, nice light hold of our file, sweeping across. Getting a nice even shape, ensuring we don't catch our client's skin at any time. The nice gliding motion. Once we've gained a nice shape, bevel, so gently down the tip of the nail and then up. Finish off with our sweeping across the tip to seal. Try and gain the same shape with all the nails that you work on. So nice and gently across the tip 
down to bevel and up and a sweep to seal. Any shorter nails just round off to a nice even shape. Finally, seal. Lay our client's hand down. Check the shape of our nails, ensuring they're all the same. Lay the file down. Apply a small amount of our cotton wool onto the tip of our cuticle stick. some cuticle oil and sweep across the cuticles of each finger to help nourish. You can then place this hand inside the hand bowl and we can work on our second hand. So from the beginning we move our nail polish Pressure down so that nail polish starts to really work into removing off the surface of the nail and pull across. Pressure down, ensuring at no time we rub into the cuticle. of the nail polish. Don't worry too much if you have any slight remainder left on the surface as we can always go back to it. Once we've got the mass of the nail polish off, with another cotton pad, remove any excess. So sweep over again, ensuring there's no polish left on any of the nails. Finally on our thumb. Place a hand down. Pick up our file. And again, starting with a small finger, holding our file nice and loosely, working with a fine grain we want to sweep across. Nice long sweeping movements across the tip of the nail, ensuring we're only ever working in one direction at any one time. Finally, once we've gained our shape, file up at a right angle and bevel down and follow with a bevel up. Finish with a seal across the 
across the tip of the nail. Onto our next finger. Ensuring our client is comfortable and well supported. Sure when we're doing our beveling we've got full support of the finger to ensure we don't push it down or pull the nail up from the nail plate. Seal and finally onto our thumb. Cuticle stick again. Apply some cotton from our cotton pad. Twirl round our cuticle stick and apply our cuticle oil to each finger. Trying to always work from the same finger as we started. So here, working from the little finger into the thumb. With a small towel, just place our first hand on top and move our bowl over for the second hand to be placed into. In your bowl you can just have a small amount of antibacterial soap and some lukewarm water. Dry the hand. Lift the hand up and place back onto the support. Then with your cuticle stick, again apply a small amount of cotton wool a round stick and dip into your cuticle remover. Apply to the cuticle area of each nail and be fairly generous with the amount of product you do use. around the cuticle area. So with the point of our cuticle stick, start to work around the sides, pulling away any dead skin that's left on the surface of the nail. As we get to the bottom of the cuticle, slightly push back to help expose the maximum amount of nail that we possibly can. And we want to be left with a nice, neat cuticle around the nail that gives us a nice basis to then paint. Once we've removed the mass of the cuticle, wipe over and move on to our second finger. So again, down the sides. Push back the cuticles. 
If you do have a client with very overgrown cuticles, you may use cuticle nippers to very carefully work around the cuticle area and remove. And then just push back to leave a nice neat shape. Wipe away. And repeat. of the cuticle or orange stick to really get round the cuticles and push them back. Move on to our next finger. And at this point you can always use your cuticle stick to go underneath the nail and remove any dirt or dead skin cells that might be present. Finally on to our thumb. Ensure your client is comfortable at all times and you're not hurting them at all. Especially when you're using your cuticle nippers. Be very careful around the cuticle area. sure you've got nice neat cuticles and a nice shape to the nail. Once we've achieved this, place our towel down, move our client's second hand and just dry. Lift up and place back onto the support. Once again, apply some cotton onto the end of our cuticle stick, twirl round, and apply our cuticle remover. Again, working from the little finger inwards, find a generous amount of product to help lift any dead skin cells or cuticle that's on the nail. Remove the cotton. Place down. And begin working on the cuticle area again. So down the sides. And pushing back the cuticle at the base of the nail. same process, so down the sides and remove and just wipe away any excess that you find on the surface of the nail onto some cotton. And just very gently push back the cuticle area. Down the sides. When carrying out a manicure, disposable should be used at any time. 
Where possible, so our file and our cuticle sticks should be disposable and used only for our one client. Go nicely, shape the nail with the cuticle, leaving a nice neat edge. Wipe away any excess. Lay our hands down and just check that all our cuticles and nails are nicely filed and all our cuticles are very neat. Any excess has been removed and the nails would be ready then to be painted. We can then go on to our hand and arm massage. So we begin by applying some cream, warming the palm of the hand, and spread all the way from the elbow up to the fingertips and underneath the hand. Ensuring you support the client's hand and arm at all times making them feel comfortable. So we can begin our routine with an effleurage movement. So one hand on top of our clients, with our second hand gliding all the way up to the elbow, with a nice pressure, and gliding back down to the top of the hand. Swap our hands over, and repeat. So gliding up to the elbow, Good firm pressure towards the heart and glide back down to the fingertips. Swap our hands over so we've got full support at all times. Glide down. And this is repeated three times with each hand. Glide back up. We go into massaging the wrist with our thumbs in a circular movement. Then underneath with our fingertips. Support the wrist, lift the hand up, link your hand with the clients and rotate. Three times one way, and three times the opposite way. Lie the client's wrist down, and repeat this process with each finger, so rotate, and then the opposite way. Grasp the base of the finger and with a light but firm pressure, pull up to bring the blood to the surface of the nail. Rotate. And pull. Rotate. hand round so they're fully supported and rotate the thumb. And pull. Turn the hand, client's hand back down so it's flat. Feel between the bones of the hand with the thumb and then the thumb on the opposite side and drain with a deep pressure towards the wrist and a light sweep back up. Repeat this between the next two fingers and sweep up and repeat three times so out between the little finger and the next and the thumb and pressure 
and down. And this is a drain for the hand, so pressure towards the heart and a light glide back up. So final time, pressure towards the wrist and glide, pressure and glide. Bring our hands and fingertips flat on the surface at the top of the hand and circle all the way from the wrist to the elbow. Glide back down and repeat three times. On the final glide back down, bring one hand underneath and turn the hand over. Link your little finger with their little finger, little finger with thumb, and massage the palm. So good firm pressures with your thumbs, exposing the whole palm and working in circular movements. Unlink your hands and let one thumb glide all the way up to the inside of the elbow to drain. Sweep back, the opposite hand supports and the opposite hand glides up to the elbow. So again a deep pressure going towards the heart and a light pressure coming back. On the last sweep, turn the hand over and finish the massage as we began with six full effleurage of the hand and arm, three with each hand. So we'll turn at hand as one supports, one glides up to the elbow and back down to the hand. And the final effleurage Glide the hand down, both hands on top of the client, and a light pressure to finish. Place the hand in a comfortable position, and repeat on the other hand and arm. So apply our massage medium, our cream, the palm of our hands, warm, and then spread all the way from the elbow to the hand, wrist, and finally fingertips. Ensure we've got a nice even application before we begin our effleurage. So, once again, one hand supports and the other hand glides all the way up to the elbow and back down to the hand. Alternately, so the next hand glides up and back down. And that's three times with each hand. Getting a nice even rhythm to help relax. As we glide down for our final time, Circle with our thumbs on top of the wrist. Then underneath with our fingertips. Support the wrist, raise the hand, link the fingers and rotate. Three times in one direction and then three times in the opposite direction. Lay the hand down and repeat on the fingers. So rotate the opposite direction and pull. Rotate the opposite direction and pull.
and make sure you get a nice pressure down when you give your pull so you get the blood to the surface of the nail to help it strengthen and grow. Lay the hand down and go into our drain. So as before, pressure towards the heart and a light pressure back. Lay the fingertips flat on the top of the hand and circle all the way up the forearm from the base of the fingertips to the wrist and to the elbow and glide back down and repeat working both hands simultaneously up the length of the arm and glide down and on our final time glide down turn the hand over Link the palm so our small finger goes into their thumb, small finger into their small finger to open up the palm. Massage the palm with our thumbs all the way over, working on any tension points. Unlock our hands, one hand supports and one thumb drains all the way up to the inside of the elbow and gently glides back down. Repeat, one hand supports, the other thumb drains all the way up to the inside of the elbow and gently down. On our third and final drain, glide down and turn the hand back over. And we can complete our massage with our effleurage as we began. So gliding up the forearm, supporting with the opposite hand to help relax our client. Three times with each hand. On our sixth and final time, glide down. Both hands rest on top of our clients and a light pressure to finish. Place our hands in a comfortable position on top of the rest and we're ready to apply our mask. So we're ready to apply our masks. Today I'm going to show you two different masks. We're going to do a paraffin wax mask and a treatment mask. So if we begin with our paraffin wax, which is heated, pop it out of its container, and just double check it's not too hot when you take it out. First of all, we need to test the wax to ensure it's not too hot for our client. So with a paintbrush, place the client's hand down and just remember to protect any toweling that you might have underneath your client's hand. So dip our brush into the paraffin wax. sweep lightly across the surface of our client's hand. Check that the temperature is okay for our client and begin applying the paraffin wax. So sweep across the surface of the hand, light sweeps until we cover the whole hand, fingers, all the way up to the wrist. 
we want to apply a few layers on top of the hand, so build up those layers one at a time. And keep double checking with your client to ensure the temperature is okay and it's not feeling that it's burning them. tips and you can cover the whole hand with the paraffin wax building up quite a few layers so you get a nice thick consistency on the surface of the hand One final layer. Showing that all my hand is covered with the perfume wax treatment. Then use a plastic bag or cling film. wrap your client's hand. The light pressure down. Ensure your paraffin wax is well out of the way so it can't be tipped over. And then place the client's hand in a heated mitten. To our opposite hand. And with a hand mask, using a brush, gently sweep over the whole hand to cover. This will also be placed in a heated mitten and the heat will help nourish the skin and promote growth of the nails. Turn the hand over and apply to the palm. Another plastic bag or cling film, wrap the hand, secure and again place in the heated mitten. Once both hands are in the heated mittens, we may leave them for around approximately 10 minutes. Once 10 minutes has elapsed, we move the first mitten, and then the second, and place our mittens out of the way, ensuring there's no trailing wires. Hold on to the wrist of our paraffin wax treatment and firmly pull away the plastic bag, removing any traces of paraffin wax. Place 
place the client's hand down and repeat with our mask treatment. Our client's hands should be left remaining soft, supple and well nourished. We can then go ahead with our painting. First of all, take a clean cotton pad and with our cuticle stick, apply some cotton wool to the end to create a cotton bud. Again, twist around the end of the cotton cuticle stick and with a small amount of nail polish remover we're going to squeak the nails. So work over the surface of the nail to take away any remains of cream or cuticle remover that may be left on the surface. Work over each nail. right the way up to the cuticle area and this will prevent our polish from lifting. And then onto our thumb. Lay the hand down and repeat on the opposite hand. Ensure if you've had paraffin wax treatment that there are no remains of paraffin wax left on the surface of the nail. So just use the edge of the cuticle stick to work around the cuticle area and over the surface of the nail. finger. Ensure we don't flood the cuticle with our nail polish remover at any time. And then finally onto our thumb. So once we've completed squeaking the nails, they're now ready to paint. So first of all, we want to apply our base coat. So first of all, if we want to apply our base coat, so we want to grasp the nail in between our thumb and forefinger and now polish in the palm of our hand, wipe away, sweep down the centre of the nail, side and side to cover the whole nail area. And again, push slightly into the cuticle, sweep up, side and side. We want to get a nice even consistency over the whole surface of the nail ensuring we don't flood the cuticle at all. And onto the thumb. Onto our second hand. Starting with the little finger again. Wipe away so the mass of our polish is on our side of the brush. Push into the cuticle, side and side. Our base coat will stop 
any polish from discolouring the nail and help strengthen. So up into the cuticle and then each side. And just use another finger just to support if you find that your hand is a little bit shaky at any time. So working around the whole nail to finish our base coat. And then on to our French polish. So with our white, again holding the polish in the palm of our hand, apply a nice amount of polish to our brush and work from one side of the tip across to give a nice even smile line. On to our next finger and just follow the natural free edge of the nail one side and then coming in from the other. If you find you have a shorter nail with no free edge, just create a nice line on the top to give the illusion of a free edge and a tip. Any excess on the surface of the skin, just wipe away with your cuticle stick. even smile line and on to our second hand. And try various ways of applying your white tip until you find a way that you feel comfortable. Ensuring you've got a good amount of polish on the brush to stop any streaking from occurring. Lay the hands down and ensure we've got a nice, even application on all our nails. Then with our pink, go back to our first nail. Ensuring our tip is dry. again and as we applied the base coat show a good amount of polish push into the cuticle area down each side down 
each side and sweep across to cut. Showing there's no polish on the surface of the skin. Pushing the cuticle around the sides. Coat the whole surface of the nail. Go back to our second hand. Onto our little finger. Repeat the process, so into the cuticle, sweep up each side, get a nice even coating onto each nail. So we're covering our white tip with our pink top. Swipe over. Once we've got to this stage, you may like to apply a second coat of your pink, depending on the results that your client wants. Then you can go on to apply your top coat. So back to our first finger. Sweep away again. Down towards the cuticle and up the length of the nail. This gives a nice shine and ensures the polish will last a long time. So sweeping either side of the nail, covering the whole tip in the process. Ensuring we don't flood the cuticle that will cause the polish to lift. strokes at the centre of the nail and then either side. And finishing finally with our thumb. hands down to leave for a few minutes just to dry. We have now completed our manicure including our French polish, perfume wax treatment and mask.